hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to understand about the amazon kinesis we will also try to understand about the types of the kinesis services we have so let us start with that so amazon kinesis generally we use to collect and process large amount of the streaming data in a real time so whenever you have a requirement where you have to process real time data then you will generally go for the amazon kinesis in a aws space now let us first try to understand what does real time data means and why why company collects a real time data and what is the actual use case for the real time data so let me take an example of the amazon website or you can take an example of any social media website so let us first understand how in a social media website recommendation works and based on that we will be having a better understanding of the real time data so suppose i am a user i am searching for the specific product in a amazon website so i will come to this amazon website i will try to log in and i will search for the mobile now after some time you will see different kinds of the mobile actually amazon is suggesting me how this all the things are happening so this all the things are happening because amazon is trying to collect each user activity in their website suppose i am a user i am coming to this particular website then one events will be generated I am searching for the mobile then one events will be generated I am searching for the different mobile then one events will be generated based on this event generation what actually they do they try to generate a event they try to collect it and they try to process it in a real time only and after that you will see they are doing a different kinds of the recommendation they are doing a recommendation because based on the recommendation I will be happy and I will try to purchase that product. So for business, it's very much important. The user should come to the website and they should purchase a product. So that's why they are doing this all the activity. They are trying to collect a data in a real time. They are trying to process this and based on that, they are doing a different kind of the analysis and based on that, they are doing a recommendation. So that is why it's very much important for any company to collect a real time data and to process it. So I hope you got idea why real time data is important and real time data streaming is very much important. So in AWS space where you have to collect and process streaming data, then generally you will go for the Amazon Kinesis. So for other example, if you will take, suppose you have to generate the real time log data for application, there are multiple logs generated. So these are all the use cases of the Amazon Kinesis. We already take an example of the social media let's take an example of the twitter so in a twitter one minute multiple tweets generally generated so if anyone is writing any tweets it should be available for everyone so how this all the things are happening this all the things are happening because they are trying to collect process in a real time only so that is the use cases of the real time data processing for the market data feeds for the web click stream so these are the different use cases of the a real time data processing now let's try to understand of the there are different kind of the services we have in a amazon kinesis itself the first one is the kinesis data stream second is the kinesis firehose the third one is the kinesis analytics so we know amazon kinesis we use for the to collect and process real time data now there are three different types of the services we have so what is the use case and where actually we have to use this all the three different services so let's start with the kinesis stream so kinesis stream generally we use to collect real time data and process to collect and process real time data in that kind of the case generally you will go for the kinesis stream now coming to the kinesis firehose kinesis firehose generally we use to collect near real time near real time why we are saying near real time is because the 60 second or one minute buffer generally you will see for the processing it's not like events is generating and it is getting processed so in that kind of the scenario we use a kinesis firehose and also we use kinesis firehose to collect the data into the s3 and the redshift also so it try to collect the data it try to process the data and also it try to store into the different storage like the s3 or that's it where you want to store so kinesis stream we use for the real time data processing and kinesis firehose we use for the near real time data processing 
and to store the data into the different space like the S3 or the Redshift. Now the third one is the Kinesis Analytics. Kinesis Analytics generally we use for the suppose a real time data is coming and based on that you have to do a certain analytics. So in that kind of the scenario we have to use a Kinesis Analytics. So based on on the data real time data we try to query it and we try to pro, uh, do uh, some analytics so these are the different three services we have so amazon kinesis we use for the real time data processing kinesis firehose we use for the near real time data processing because 60 second gap will be there and the kinesis analytics we use for the data analytics perspective i hope you got the overall idea about what is amazon kinesis and why actually we use in next video we'll try to cover uh, the practical part and we'll try to understand more about this